Have you ever wanted the convenience of a washing machine that you can fit into your pocket? Well, Japan's got you covered with the laundry machine from Daiso. Daiso is a dollar store in Japan, and sometimes they have goods that are a little bit more. So this one is three coins or 300 yen, and after tax is 330, which is about 250 US kind of thing. This is an actual working laundry machine. It's not a joke, it's a real laundry machine, so it's used for cleaning, as they say, makeup sponges and stuff, but what we're gonna do is actually put some e-reader screen cloths in here and see if it actually does it. It's a real washing machine, it's got a drain hose, it's got battery power, it's got a tumbler right there, and it's got even a start button. So this is, this is a real, actual laundry machine, it's just really small. So let's crack this open. There's no way of doing it neatly because it's one of those glued on low density polyethylene kind of plastics on a piece of paper. So throw that away. And here is the washing machine. There's a washing machine. And for scale, well, my hand, but otherwise, look at that. It's shorter than my phone, about the same width, obviously thicker. But look at that. This is an actual washing machine. And look, there's a drain in there, and there is a tumbler gear that actually is able to spin, and that feels like it's actually attached to the gearing mechanism, so we're not going to play with that too much. It doesn't appear to have a lock. It just appears that, you know, you're going <laughs> to... That's an on and off switch, and it's, a, uh, it's an on and off switch where it actually has to stay connected to be hot. So, for example, if I just press it, it's not like an off and on. It has to go down and hold, and then that's, a, I assume, how you turn it off. So, much like a real washing machine where you would want to drain this, you'd want to put that in a little pan, and we're going to show you all this in the video. But this thing is really cool. It's, I mean, you know, things are what they are, and this is, in effect, the exact same concept and really design as a washing machine just far less R&D going into it and those aren't real buttons that's a sticker so we're gonna put a couple AA batteries I think I hope it's AA and not a 9 volt and uh, we're going to start this and actually use it I hope you all know how absolutely ridiculous this is. So we have some screen protector cloths. This one is going to be a little bit more of an extreme sample because we have a pen stroke on this side and a HB number two pencil stroke on that side. I doubt it's going to actually clean this because it doesn't say to use soap and we're not going to. We're going to use it as face value as per the directions on the actual box. So we're going to put that in right there. This one we cleaned a fairly dusty and dirty table so you can see the middle and the back is yellow and these two spots are going to have some dust and some other grime and whatnot on there so we're gonna put that in already with those two screen cloths this thing is basically half full it also says do not overfill with water so we're going to put some water in as it says do not over full, so that's about halfway right there. So the water is in everybody. Now you don't need to put the drain hose in yet. Leave it up so that it can actually do its thing first. So we're gonna start this washing machine. <laughs> it's doing something. Because this is $3 and doesn't have an automatic shutoff for the actual drain plug, it's likely just going to come out right when I apply some gravity, so let's see. It also doesn't seem to stay down. It's a flex hose, but I think that's just for design and aesthetic purposes. It doesn't actually seem to get down. And much like a washing machine, it goes through another cycle. You can put it through another cycle to kind of get it all down there, out the drain plug. Now let's see the result and the fruits of our labor. Hang that back up and let's see what we got. So this is our main cloth here. Oh, it got kind of tangled. OK, 
Okay, it didn't get rid of the actual hair because it doesn't have a lint filter, so that's just something that's not gonna happen. It's, uh, it's very wet, of course, because it doesn't rotate itself dry. I'm sure you can just leave it on rotation until it basically dries itself, but there's no real point. So in terms of this one, let's see what happened. So it got absolutely nothing. <laughs> you can see the dirt on this side is still there and it looks like the dust on the other side which was just dust from a tabletop is still very much there so that didn't do anything actually it didn't do a thing now granted we're not using soap because it doesn't tell you to and that's something that we have to follow because we don't obviously know if the soap is gonna jam this up or anything like that now for the pencil and pen mark I'm just gonna think I'm just gonna say it did nothing it did absolutely nothing. In fact, all it looks like is that it's just the same, but wet. So it doesn't clean anything whatsoever with just water, much like a washing machine it shouldn't. But things that require just water to clean, like when you rinse certain tiny brushes off and makeup sponges, which it was essentially supposed to be used for, I imagine it would get a lot of the dust out, although it's not looking that great because even the screen cloth that we wiped the tabletop with, remember this isn't our pen test, this one didn't come off at all, in fact the dust is still on there, so is it, an, is it a fail? Yeah, absolutely, it didn't do anything, but is it fun? For $3 plus batteries, I mean, what's the point? I guess there is no point, but it, how can you beat that in terms of getting a washing machine? It's a fun novelty, it's a fun gift, but it will do nothing for anyone ever. Thanks so much for joining this episode of Goody Reader Tech, and stay tuned for more.